In this video, you're going to learn how to create an NFL expected value betting model just in time for week one of the NFL season. Hello everyone, Jonathan here from Excel Help Now. Really excited to walk through this model we're going to be building today. It's an NFL expected value betting model. It has inputs from two different resources, Pinnacle, the sharpest sports book in the world, and then we're going to go to Sportsbook Review as our line shopping website. Both are completely free to use, and using this video, you can set up this entire Excel model for yourself just in time for week one NFL slated games. So a real high level, what the model's going to do is it's going to take the matchups for the spread, the money line, and the totals from Pinnacle, input those odds. Then we're going to convert those odds to percentages that are going to include the VIG. That's what these columns are here. And then we're going to take out that VIG amount to get our implied percentages for the spread, the money line, and the total. We'll convert those implied percentages to American odds. And these odds will be our break-even odds to see if there's any sports book that's offering longer odds than these. And I also have a market width calculation in here as well. This isn't too important for NFL, but one to have it in here as a, a reference point just to measure uh, the absolute value difference between the money line um, underdog and favorite line. So uh, 50 is about what I use as my market width um, benchmark. So anything above that is usually a, a pretty wide disparity game. So you can see for week one, we have uh, Houston and uh, the Ravens at 79. So that's probably the the line I would avoid. Everything else is under 50 and um, pretty close matchup. So once we have all that and we've line shopped to see what odds are more favorable that a sports box offering versus the break-even odds, we'll input that up here. Um, so I already have an example of Detroit Lions. He's here at plus 250. Then we have the Kelly criteria over here. That's going to calculate the exact amount we should wager based on our account value and our Kelly adjustment factor. So if you've been looking for a model that's going to let you be able to input sharp sports booking odds from Pinnacle and be able to convert those into actual wagers and not have to put any guesswork in, just know that uh, in the long run, placing these type of bets, positive expected value bets, you're going to be a profitable sports better. So hopefully this gets you excited and uh, we'll flip over to Pinnacle. I'll show you what to grab. We'll, we'll input that into the model and then we'll start rolling. Okay, I'm over at Pinnacle.com. Go to the football section and you expand that toggle. You can get to the NFL. This will have all the NFL games. So we have our Thursday night slated game, Sunday, and then our Monday night game. And the matchups, the spread, the money line, and the total, both amounts and the lines offered. And so uh, just take these, we'll input them into the model. It's really helpful if you have two screens, so then you can just see the lines all on one screen and then have your Excel model pulled up on the other. And just one note here, so you can see the plus six, minus six spread line here for the Lions Chiefs game. If you click this little plus and minus arrow, you can see all the different lines. So if you want to look at plus six and a half or uh, plus five and a half, you can see that you input that. So this is helpful if some sports books are offering six, some are offering six and a half. You can plug in the different odds to see if any one of them is a positive expected value bet. So you need to do that for both your spreads and your totals. Make sure that if you're looking and line shopping at plus six, that you're you're grabbing the sports books that are offering plus six. If they're offering plus six and a half, then you need to make sure that you input those into the model just to make sure that you're doing a true apples to apples comparison. So just wanted to highlight that. Uh, but otherwise, all I have to do is just input these. It does take a little bit of time doing the manual inputting, uh, but that's, you know, this is a free resource. So it's unfortunately there's, you know, there is some leg work, but once you get the matchups in, it is pretty quick. You can probably put all these numbers in in under three minutes into the model, do a quick line shot. But I'd say you could do this several times throughout the week and spend, you know, 10 to 15 minutes doing this. But know that that's definitely time well spent because you're going to be having positive expected value bets placed. And in the long run, that's going to make you a profitable sports better. So I'll go ahead and put these into the model and then we can look at them. All right, I'm back over at the Excel model. I went ahead and plugged in all those pinnacle odds into these dark blue input cell columns here. So we put the dates, the matchup, the handicap, the money line, and the over underlines. 
And then from there in columns G through I here, the VIG spread, VIG money line, and VIG total, we have the formula where it's going to convert our American odds to percentages. So the formula for that you can see is if D10 is less than zero, then I'm going to take the absolute value of D10 divided by the absolute value of D10 plus 100. If it's not less than zero, then with this comma, 100 divided by D10 plus 100. So that's the same formula all the way down. And then the same for column H and I just referencing the money line and the over under. So that's just the standard formula to convert American odds to percentages. So go ahead and you take that formula, drag it down for each one of your, your columns there. And then you'll see that we have our, our big percentages. So the spread is 105.8% total. So that 5.8% above 100, that's our that's our big amount. So next we need to remove that. And to do that, the formula is just taking your G10 divided by the sum of G10 and a G11. So just doing a, a pro rata there and then the opposite on the other side of the line. So G11 divided by G10, uh, sum of G10 through G11. So you just copy those in pairs for each one of your, your matchups and just do that throughout the model for the spread, the money line and the totals. Just make sure that everything sums to 100, all the matchups do so. Our total is 1,600%. We have uh, 32, 32 NFL teams, 16 games. So your your sum should be 1,600%. Same for the, the money line and the total. So that's just to uh, remove the VIG and to get our implied percentages for spread, money line, and totals. And then from there, we're going to convert those percentages back to American odds. So the formula for that is if J10 is less than 0.5, then we're going to take 100 times 1 minus J10 divided by J10. Otherwise, we're going to do minus 100 times J10 divided by 1 minus J10. So you can take that formula, reference the correct columns, same formula for spread, money, line, and total. That's just the standard formula to convert percentages to American odds. And these odds over here, like I said at the intro, these are break-even odds. So anything longer than any odd on this section here is a positive expected value bet. And then on the WIF section, that is the formula for that. So it's looking at the money line column here, absolute value of E10 minus E11, and then taking the absolute value of that difference. And that's a, another paired formula. So you grab the other side of the money line, E11 minus E10, and then just grab those in pairs and copy them down. So that's the that's the model as far as the the inputs using our pinnacle inputs here, and then doing some conversions to get us to break even odds. And so now the next step in the process is going to be looking at these break even odds here, going to a line shopping. I said sportsbook review is what I'll use. It's a nice clean way to look at these. We'll do, go through a couple of examples so you can see how to do the line shopping and see if there's any positive expected value bets being offered right now. This is something that you can do throughout the, the day and the week leading up to the NFL games. Lines move around constantly. So just this is something that you don't, you can do it once and be done and play some bets. But if you want to have a lot more bets and exposure and to be able to get some um, more value, you do this more than once throughout the week. So I'm going to take a pause there. We'll flip over a sports book review. And we'll see if there's anything on this Lions Chief Thursday night game. Okay, I'm over at sportsbookreview.com. NFL odds section. We have point spread tab, a money line tab, and a totals tab. So I, I did look at some money lines, especially that Detroit Kansas City game. Caesars plus 250 on Detroit. So the model had that at plus 221 is the break even. So a lot of value right now to take the Lions for week one to upset the Chiefs. So let's take this Caesars 250. Let's plug that in, see what type of wager we get. And then we can do a, a spread or a total example just to be able to see how to use the models with um, something besides a money line offering. Okay, I went ahead and plugged in that Lions money line Caesar plus 250 wager. And so using the Kelly criteria with a thousand account value and an adjustment factor of 0.5 it's saying we should wager eighteen dollars and 22 cents so the break-even odds were plus 221 and we're getting 250 on caesar so this is a week one bet you could place right now and feel really confident that 
you're going to have a good chance of hitting a pretty nice payout on a very high positive expected value bet. So a um, couple things I'll highlight here on the Kelly criteria calculation. First, what it is, is it determines your wager amount based on the probability of you winning times the decimal odds of the sports book minus one, all that divided by the decimal odds of sports book minus one times your bankroll times your adjustment factor. And so I have a thousand plugged in here and then the Kelly adjustment factor of 0.5. 0.5 I would say would be like the max you should ever wager, use as your adjustment factor. I personally do 0.25. Basically this is gonna adjust and say your, if your estimate here, so if we did all this and we said our estimate is 100% perfect, then you could feel real confident. You don't need an adjust adjustment factor, but you know, this is only so accurate. Pinnacle we're saying, we're using as our source of truth and they're the sharpest sports book, but they're still not perfect. So having an adjustment factor kind of gives you that room of error if you're, what you're using as your basis to find the actual implied win percentage is, isn't is 100% right. So that adjustment factor, 0.25 is a pretty conservative mark. That's what I personally use. And so the, the math here is decimalons, which is taking the sports book odd and converting that to decimalons. So that's the formula to do that. If H7 is less than zero, then we're gonna do one minus 100 divided by H7, otherwise one plus H7 divided by 100. The implied win percentage here, this is just, I'm just doing an index match lookup on my table to look up the Lions money line combination. Uh, that value is this 31.2%, 31.2%. So just referencing that you could do it just manually reference K10, or you could do a formula. I have an index match formula there just so I don't have to do that each time. And then the expected value actual formula itself is there. I will um, just pause there, let you grab that if you want. I'm not gonna read all of that out, but that is the, the formula to know what our expected value percent is. 9.1% is a really high expected value. That's There's a lot of value right now on this Lions game. The bet size, that is taking the implied win percentage, the decimal odds, the account value, and the Kelly adjustment factor. It's this wager amount here is just, this is the, the formula and this is the math behind it. So there's the formula for that. And then the percent of bankroll, just so you know how much of your bankroll you're actually putting on this one single line offering, there's the formula for that. So that's just some of the math. That's the Kelly criteria. Um, I, that's what I use for all my betting. It's an objective way. So you're not just placing a five or $10 random bet. You're placing an objective bet that is essentially saying this is the optimal bet amount for this wager based on the current sportsbook odds. So we'll take a pause there and let's go do another example just so um, we can see something besides a money line offering. Back at sportsbook review, I went ahead and selected point spread here. So we can see that we have Five and a half, six, five and a half, six and a half, five, five and a half offered on the Detroit Kansas City game. So it's going to highlight in blue what's the most favorable line offering. So let's look at the Caesar six and a half at minus 110. We flip over to Pinnacle. So you can see that right now its default is plus six handicap. So if we go click that toggle, we can grab the odds of six and a half to see what the break even amount is on minus 129 and plus 116. So let's go ahead and put this into the model and see what kind of spread bet we can get on the Lions Chiefs game. Okay, I plugged in that Lions Chiefs spread minus 126 plus 116 at that six and a half. So Caesars was offering it with minus 110. So Caesars really just does not like Lions chances versus the Chiefs. So this is another positive expected value bet. So with that six and a half spread, you can see our break even was minus 120. We're getting minus 110 on Caesar. So another really profitable um, sports betting wager that you can place for the Lions Chiefs game. If you don't like that money line, um, you could take the, the six and a half spread for the, the Lions to cover that. And something else that I put in here, I, I forgot to add this, is I went ahead and put in a American odds to percentage for the sportsbook odds. So it's calling that sportsbook percent. So converting this minus 110 
to a percentage amount just so you can see what the sports book is saying that the expected win percentage is on the Lions to to cover the spread. It's 52.4 when we're saying that they actually have a 54.6% chance. So the 54.6 over the 52.4, that that's our value. That's where the expected value is whenever your implied win percentage is greater than what the sports book including what they're, you know, with that big amount included in this minus 110 is saying that the Lions have, or any uh, line has of actually beating the, the wager. So that is the model. I hope you found this helpful. There's going to be a lot of good bets for, for week one. I think there's a lot of value right now on this Lions Chief King for week one on Thursday night. Um, so definitely you could pull this up and, uh, plug in the values that up because this, these lines update all the time. So plug in the new values, see if it's still a favorable bet whenever you get to it. And then you can use this model for the rest of the NFL season. Hopefully whenever it's over in February, you look back and have a, a positive win percentage using this model. So um, please like, and subscribe to the channel. And I do have uh, this model available on my Etsy page link in the description. That includes everything you see here, along with a, a bets tracker tab and an interactive dashboard. So you, that for any sport, not just football, that you can slice and look at your results by month, by type of sport, by odds, by sports book, by offering types. So a lot of cool ways to look at your data. Um, but hopefully you found this valuable and thank you and God